The next tool I want to show you is probably one of the most essential tools in doing web app hacking, which everybody wants to do, right? Everybody wants to hack web applications. And there's one tool that nearly everybody uses in web app hacking, and that's called the Burp Suite, okay? Uh, and it's gonna be, you're gonna find it up here under web application analysis, and there it is, the Burp Suite. Now, built into Kali is the free version. There is a paid version too that they charge, I think, $395 a year for. But for most, especially if you're just starting out, you're not gonna want to invest $400. You can do most everything in the free version. There's a few things you can, but if you're just starting out, you don't have to have those capabilities. So it comes back and says, I accept the terms and conditions. Of course I do. Of course <laughs> I accept all of these conditions. I am. I've read, I've read all of them in my 10 seconds there, and I agree to all of them. And then as a, as a beginner and using the free version, you can't, you can't save as a temporary project. That's one of the drawbacks. So notice it's a community edition. And so I go next, and then I can start Burp. Okay. What Burp does for us is that it allows us to intercept. It's, it's a proxy. Right? So it's a proxy that allows us to intercept web traffic and then manipulate it or in whatever way we want. We can, first of all, analyze it, okay? And then we can manipulate it between our browser and the server. So once the traffic leaves our browser, we can pick it up. We can proxy it. That's what it's called. It's, it's like, kind of like a, a man in the middle. We're capturing it between the browser and the server, and we can analyze it, and we can manipulate it. So with, first of all, we go ahead and turn on the proxy, okay? And turn our intercept on. Notice here we can hit look at our history. Let's go ahead and create some history, okay? Let's open up a browser. Your Burp Suite now has built into it, I think, the Chrome browser. And uh, it works best with the Chrome browser. Of course, the Chrome browser has its own issues. Okay, <laughs> and, uh, and then we'll go to, uh, you can use it with other browsers. It just takes a little bit more knowledge. And so you can start to see the traffic coming up there. What you would need to do to use it in the, the say, Mozilla is, well, we'll let. Oh, did we do that in the, a previous class? We may have. I don't I'm think not so. Sure I, don't, we, I don't think, I think so. we did. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think we did. And you see, here's the, the intercept side. And so what we see here right, is the it intercepted, okay, the packet from my browser to the web server. Now, this opens up all kinds of possibilities of what we can do, right? So one of the basics of this is the first step oftentimes in web app hacking is you first of all, you have to know what's going on in the packets, right? So this is kind of the analysis stage is that you can go ahead and see in each one of the packets. So if I go forward right here, I can see each one of the packets. There's like, no, there's another one. So I've gone through three packets and I can begin to analyze how the browser is communicating with the server and how the server is communicating with the browser. Once I know that, then I have some basic information that I can use to be able to attack the web application. There's a number of other tools built into this. For instance, there's a sequencer and a decoder. The one that most people are interested in when they start out is what's called the intruder. You've got to go, what you do here with the intruder is it allows you to go and, for instance, try cracking remote passwords. So if you've got a password on this system, so for instance, what we can do is we can go right click, send to intruder, and then it'll send this packet. We can send this packet repeatedly to the server. Now, this is not a login screen, but if it was a login screen, I can go ahead and send a password list to the login screen. Now, let's, let's see. Uh, probably, there's probably, a, um, without using a, it's probably going to get ourselves into trouble with YouTube with this. So I probably yeah, don't want, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't want to do that. But I will just say that we can, you can use this if, 
you know, you, it, you don't have to search very far on the web and on hackers' eyes on how to use this to go ahead and crack passwords. Now, as a password cracking tool, it's not the best in the community edition because it, they actually put a governor on it that it limits the speed that you can go through passwords. Okay, but if you buy the the professional edition, there's no limit. It's still not the fastest password cracker, but it does a really good job of identifying the fields. Okay, that you need to be able to log into a website and then try to do remote password cracking. But it's one of those tools that if you're going to work in web application security, you're going to, you know, if you want to test your own website for vulnerabilities, if you're trying to hack a website, this is the first step. You really need to use the Burp Suite. The Burp Suite is like, it's one of those essential tools. We can't go, we don't have time to go into all of the capabilities but it's a really capable tool and it's for free in the community edition. All right, let's close this down. That would be a whole down. course in itself. It is a whole course. I mean, it's it's a it's a, a week long course and just doing the burp suite. Just wanted to, right now we're just trying to show you the basics of all the tools that are out there. 